Many worlds interpretation. When you're at a crossroads, you only have two choices, either the left or the right. You can't take both roads unless you can split your body in two. But the Many Worlds Interpretation, or MWI, says that you can take both the left and the right paths simultaneously. The idea is that every time you make a decision at the quantum level, which is the smallest level in the physical world, the universe splits into multiple versions of itself. Each version represents a different result based on the decision you made. So if you wake up today and choose between taking the day off or going to work, the universe splits into two versions, one where you go to work and the other where you stay at home. The MWI suggests that all these states are real and that each of these states exist in their own universes. Basically, the MWI removes the idea that there is only one outcome for every decision. Instead, it says there are infinite parallel universes where every outcome can happen. There's one universe where you became a lawyer, while another universe has a version of you that's a doctor. These universes are all based on the individual decisions you make daily, and that's why there's an infinite number of them. Cosmic Inflation Multiverse Meet Cosmic Inflation. He's the Big Bang's weird cousin. According to Cosmic Inflation's story, the universe kept expanding at a rate much faster than the speed of light after the Big Bang. It's essentially the reason why our universe is so big that it's almost impossible to know whether there's an end to it. But the twist is that during Cosmic Inflation, some parts of the universe may have expanded at different rates leading to the possible formation of pockets. These pockets could potentially become their own universes, each with different characteristics. Put it like this, when you're kneading a large piece of dough, you can take another smaller piece from it. This small piece can be its own universe because it already has a different identity from the larger dough. It's essentially a pocket universe. Put all that together and you get the multiverse. The idea here is that these universes exist in our universe, but in pocket dimensions or realities that may have their own set of laws. It could be possible that one dimension doesn't have gravity at all, while another one doesn't support any kind of life. The stars you gaze at during a clear night may be pocket dimensions far from our world. The next time you go stargazing, you're probably staring at another version of you staring back from a different universe. Bubble Universes Let's say that the universe is a huge soap bubble. The bubble contains everything we know exists, including galaxies, stars, and planets. This bubble now exists with hundreds of other bubbles. Pardon me. This bubble now exists with hundreds of other bubbles in a cosmic bathtub. So if there are other bubbles, that means that each bubble has its own universe inside. This is the idea behind the bubble universe theory. The theory is rooted in what we call cosmic inflation. After the Big Bang, the universe expanded so quickly that it's like you're inflating a balloon. Scientists believe this inflation also inflated other universes to create a larger multiverse. Each bubble could be different from the one we know. For all we know, one could be a 2D cartoon universe with different physical laws. Others may be similar to our own universe, but with slight differences. The idea is that the possibilities are endless, and each bubble represents a different possibility. Scientists use the bubble universe's theory to explain our universe's properties. If there are many different universes with properties different from ours, we live in a universe with the perfect conditions for survival. Anthropic Principle Multiverse if you go to a library to browse through books, you'll see that each book tells a different story, but not every single one keeps your interest. But there's that one book that keeps you engaged, almost as if this book was perfect for you. You'd probably think, this book gets me. Hey, maybe it was written for me. Now consider the Anthropic Principle Multiverse Theory. It suggests our universe is just one big library in the larger cosmos. Each book in that library represents a universe with different stories and rules. According to this theory, we we exist in the universe we live in now because it has perfect conditions for us. For example, if we removed Harry Potter from his book and transferred him to Tuesdays with Maury, it's clear that he doesn't fit in that book. But he exists in his book precisely because that book was written to fit him perfectly. It's just like how our universe is perfect for our existence. If we were taken out of our universe and placed in a different one, there's a good chance that the conditions in that universe wouldn't fit the requirements for our existence. This theory supports the idea that parallel universes exist, but have conditions different from the conditions of our universe. So if you ever feel lost in this vast multiverse, remember that even parallel universes have a you are here map. And the here we are talking about is the universe you live in, because that's the only one that supports your existence. 
Membrane theory, brain multiverse. Look at the universe as a trampoline or a giant sheet called a brain. Every jump or movement on this trampoline affects it, which explains why the sheet moves as we bounce. This theory known as membrane theory suggests that our universe is just one of these brains existing in a larger realm called the bulk. Think of the bulk as a giant trampoline park with different trampolines. Each trampoline has its own unique set of laws and realities, just like different trampolines can vary in size and bounciness. For example, the trampoline next to you might look the same, but it's actually a bit bigger and allows you to bounce higher. This trampoline next to you is what you'd call a parallel universe. That's how these brains and the membrane theory work. According to this theory, these brains can even interact with each other, similar to how you can jump from one trampoline to another. But if two brains collide and interact, it could have an impact. Scientists think that a similar collision could have caused the Big Bang. Two different universes in the bulk likely collided and created the universe we live in. This is like how two people jumping on different trampolines can collide if they jump close to each other. But instead of another big bang, they get a big ouch. Simulated reality. You're probably familiar with video games where you're the main character. There are other characters in this large virtual world. It's like an MMORPG where you can go on quests with different players but still create your own story. This is what simulated reality theory talks about. The basic concept of this theory is that advanced beings are running our lives. They create simulated video game-like worlds. These simulations are our universes. We are just simulated beings in these virtual worlds. Essentially, we are ones and zeros in a binary digital world created by aliens, gods, or these advanced simulations. But we are not the only simulation we are running, other simulations are running alongside our own. The parallel universes also exist in their own simulated worlds. Think of it like you're hosting a huge gaming party with your friends, but every single one of you plays different games. These games represent the different universes in a large computer room. At the end of the day, nothing in our universe is real, because everything was just digitally created. And all other universes in this vast room full of simulations are also made up dimensions. Quantum Decoherence Let's say that you have a cat named Felix. Normally, Felix can be either awake or asleep. But in the quantum world, the concept of superposition allows Felix to be awake and asleep simultaneously until you observe him. Quantum decoherence comes in this scenario to make you understand why Felix chooses to be either asleep or awake. It's as if something happens that makes him choose either reality instead of both. When applied to the quantum world, quantum decoherence talks about how particles, like electrons, are no longer in a state of superposition. Instead of being asleep or awake, these particles are forced to decide on a definite state because of how their environment interacts. Once a particle chooses its state, the universe splits into multiple versions, each representing the different states that the particles chose. This creates multiple universes and answers the mystery of why we can't see or interact with other universes. When a particle chooses its state, there's no coming back. You can't rewind things and decide to follow a different path. So if Felix woke up because a dog was barking, you can't go back to the past and look at the universe where he stayed asleep. Similarly, if you chose losing lottery numbers, you can't reset things and observe the universe where you choose the right numbers and won $10 million. That's how quantum decoherence applies to our understanding of the multiverse. There's no undo button in it. If you're also in a state of superposition, you can fix that by joining our Discord. But once you do, there's no coming back in time to look at the universe where you didn't join our Discord. Well, that universe sucks anyway. Hologram graphic principle. You probably remember the hologram stickers you got for free in a cereal box when you were a kid. These stickers project 3D images, but in reality it's just a two-dimensional surface designed to look like it's three-dimensional. Scientists apply the same logic to the holographic principle when understanding the existence of multiple universes. This theory suggests that all the information in our 3D universe can be represented on a 2D surface, which could be the universe's boundary. So if you're looking at our universe from the outside, it's like viewing it on a piece of flat 2D paper. Let's use soup to give you a better understanding of this concept. When we are eating a bowl of soup, you know that everything in this soup is spread throughout the entire bowl, but if we apply the holographic principle to this discussion, you don't need to dig through the entire soup to know what's inside it. You can just look at the bowl's surface to see pieces of chicken and carrots floating. You're just viewing the contents of the soup from a flat 2D surface. Because of this, scientists believe our universe is merely projected on a flat 2D surface, even though it's a three-dimensional reality. If that's the case, then there could be other universes that are being projected on this flat 2D surface to create a multiverse. We are essentially just hologram stickers pasted all over a wall by a cosmic version of a child. 
Temporal Parallel Universes. Maybe you've read one of those choose-your-own-adventure books before. These books allow you to make choices that send you down a new path. Every path is different, depending on the choices you make. Every time you reach a decision point, you're not just picking a page to turn to. Instead, you're splitting the universe in two. It's like, hmm, should I slay the dragon or try to reason with it? Oh wait, let me just create a whole new parallel universe where I'm a clown instead of a dragon slayer. The theory of temporal parallel universes works a lot like that. This theory says that every decision you make creates a new universe. So you create two new universes when choosing to turn left or right at a crossroads. In one universe, you go right. Meanwhile, in the other universe, you go left. These new universes are temporal parallel universes. The idea is connected to the multiverse theory and time travel. If you look at the multiverse, it's simply a collection of all the different universes created when you made decisions in the past. So if you chose to drink coffee instead of tea this morning, you created a new universe where you drank tea. The universe where you you drank coffee, and the universe where you drank tea belongs to the same multiverse. Now this is where the time traveling discussion comes into the picture. The theory states that even if traveling back in time was possible, you wouldn't be changing your own universe. Instead, because you traveled back in time to change one of your choices, you created a new universe where things happen differently. So if you go back to your future, you'll realize that nothing actually changed, because the changes you made in the past only created a new universe that now has a different future. So if you're watching Back to the Future, or any other movie with time travel in it, you can call those movies BS, because according to this theory, that really isn't how time travel works. Mirror Universes Looking at a mirror, you'll notice that everything is flipped around. Your left becomes your right, words are also in reverse. The world you see in the mirror is essentially a reverse universe of the world you live in. It's like having a twin in a different world that exists within the mirror. This is similar to how the concept of a mirror universe works. This theory states that the multiple mirror universes exist alongside our own. It's like when you take an entire loaf of bread and make slices out of the same loaf. These slices of bread all belong to the same multiverse, but our mirror universes of of one another and are crusted in different ways. Most of these universes have the same events and rules, but with small differences. In a mirror universe, your evil twin might be like you in many ways, except maybe they're better at talking to girls or doing math. Maybe technology in this mirror universe is different from the technology we have in our universe. These universes are basically the same as ours, but are made unique by small changes. Maybe there's even a mirror universe where people actually like putting pineapples on pizzas.